you killed your friend Ella because she slept with your MD and got promoted above you. Isn't it? Inspector, I didn't kill Ella. I couldn't have done that. Yes, the promotion was not due. When due process has been broken, questions springs up. Due process. You say due process. You slept with your empty because you wanted that position. But unfortunately, you didn't get it. It was rather given to a hard-working Daniela. Inspector, you're crossing the line. This is a murder case, not my personal life. I did not kill Ella. As a matter of fact, everyone wanted that. You wanted that position. True or false? Yes. But that does not mean I killed Ella. I did not kill my... You killed my... You killed your kill. colleague out of jealousy and envy. Inspector, I did not kill Ella. Stop yelling. I did not kill Ella. Yes. Stop yelling, else I will put you behind bars. Some time ago, you celebrated your birthday where Daniela was poisoned. Can you tell me about it? Inspector, everything happened so fast. I, I was waiting for my cake to be delivered. We were just toasting and discussing about my gift. She started coughing. At first, we thought it was just maybe choking or something. We requested water. She said she was fine. She didn't want to take the water. All of a sudden, she started coughing up blood. <laughs> Don't you think you used your birthday party as a disguise to poison Daniela because you wanted her position? Inspector, your questions are beginning to choke me. Birthdays are meant to be celebrated with family, colleagues and friends. And that was exactly what I did. Young lady, can you answer my question? Did you by any way advise your friend to leave her marriage? The marriage was toxic. She was dying in silence. She doesn't talk to anyone except me. Toxic. The marriage was toxic. Hmm. Do you think Fred is responsible for the death of his ex-wife? I don't think so. But I know so. Why do you say so? A lot of times I visited them. I spoke to them. I did my best for them to always iron out their issues. Until this particular day. 
I, I did so not. So you are insulted and got into the point. No, 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 no. But you no. have to go to my phone to copy number, I right? I swear I did not take your phone. You I did not touch your phone. I did not take any number. I then swear. Who called Angela and warned her to take left from me? I, who did? I don't know. I did not touch your phone. I did not. Oh. I don't know what you're talking about. I swear. I swear. Ella, I, I can see death is calling you. Friend, please, I did Ella, not. death is calling you friend, and I will help you friend, to answer that call. Friend, I will help you <laughs> decide death to humiliate me in this house. <laughs> You're in my space and you're disturbing my home. So what if it's your space? If the world is scared of you, I can never be scared of you. You are a monster! Stop that to me! This is my home! This is my space! Don't talk to me like that! Who are you to talk to me in such manner? When you are about to raise your hand and hit me, if you try it, I will let you know that I am the devil's scum. I am not your wife! Hit me if you're not scared! If you have ever been referred to as a man, hit me! How dare you? How dare you, animal? You hit your wife to the point that she miscarried! Did you, did you just say miscarried? Did you just say mis- Please, where is she, please? Please, where is she, please? Take your hands off me. Please, where is she, please? Take it out! Can you tell me where she is, please? Talk to me, where is she? A disgusting beast. Honey, please. Please forgive me. I I don't know I've erred. But please. I I I I don't even know what happened to me. I don't it's like evil spirit took hold of me. But please, I'm sorry. Biko, forgive me. Eh? I know I'm not worthy to be called your husband again. Eh? Help me, please now, help me beg her. Oh, Pico. Please, Pico, please. Honey? Huh? Danny, let's leave this place already. It stinks. Hey, hey, don't, 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 don't touch it, honey. Uh, don't, don't touch it. Leave me leave back alone, honey, please now. Honey, please. My love, please. Pico, Pico, please. Ella, let's please. go. Please. Huh? Please, forgive me, please, honey. I'm sorry, honey, please. Please, please, honey, Biko, no, Biko, honey, please, now nah, I can't live without you, honey, please, Biko, honey, 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 mo. baby, honey, mwa. baby, please now, honey, baby, baby, please, Biko, Biko, please, Biko, Biko, honey, 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 please now, honey, Biko, please, I can't live without you, honey, please, honey, ay, ay, ay. honey, Biko, no, Biko, no, honey, please, honey, don't worry, let me get it. Honey, be gone. Be gone. Honey, babe, honey, honey, honey.
wrong with you, Daniela? What is the matter with you? Daniela, do you want to die? Do you want that guy to kill you? No, please. Emily, stop. Nobody is dying. God forbid nobody is dying in this marriage. Please, really, you don't understand. I don't understand what? You don't understand marriage and how it works. I will not understand. What do you want me to understand exactly? That a woman should stay back and die in her marriage even when it's obvious that it's not working. Emily, no one is dying in my marriage, God forbid. Daniela, come on! What is it? That guy punches you at every little mistake. He hates you. He doesn't value you. He doesn't cherish you. He doesn't even care for you. You take care of that guy. You do everything yet. Amy Lee, can you stop? Really, what do you want me to do? Babes, do you realize that this is my second marriage and it's not even up to six months? Yes! Wow. What's going on? Do you want me to quit this one? Do you want me to walk away? We are still on this. Of course I am. Because what do you think people would say? What do you think people would say about me? Tongues will wag. My church will talk. My family will talk. The workplace here will talk. How do you think they would see it? Everybody will blame me. They will say I am the problem because Fred is not the first. He is the second. And it's not even up to six months and I'm walking away again. Stop it! Please stop it. Oh, please. Hold on, let me... I just want to think for a while. So I, I am here being worried about my friend. And all you care about is what people would say. Your colleagues, your church members, family. People that... People that might not even matter. People that will still talk. When you drop dead. And nobody is dropping dead. Please, Come on, stop? Daniela, will you stop it? You know what? I understand you're trying to look out for your friend. I get it and I appreciate it, babes. But really, you have never been married. You, you are beginning to sound like an educated illiterate at this point. I am sorry if you see this as an insult. No, it's not. I am only saying when you get married, babes, you will understand everything I've been trying to say. And baby girl, I am praying for you. God will bless you with your own marriage. And then you would understand everything I have been trying to make you understand. Come on. I have to try. I have to. I can't just give up because of something happened. Daniela, stop it. Babes, I'll be, I'll be coming over to your place later to pick up my things. Thank you. Just like that. You want to come and pick up your things and go back to that monster. Daniela, you're more than a friend to me and that is the reason I am worried about you. Daniela, that guy is a monster. He's a beast. That guy that just walked off that door is not meant for you. He's not good for you. What manner of man hits his wife till she miscarries? What is it? Daniela, please, don't do this. I am begging you with every affection and love I have for you. Only I understand. You don't. I totally understand. And trust me, he will never try it again. He will not do it again. He made a promise to me. He has promised you countless and times. And this time around, I believe him because he meant it. Babes, please. I am not stupid. I know what I am doing. I am trying to see how I can make this work. I, I don't think you do. I cannot just give up. Not when I encounter a little problem in my marriage, I just walk away. Do you know how many men I will end up marrying at the end of the at the end of my life? Babes, at the end of the day, we are all human. 
Fred is a human. Can't. And humans make mistakes. And you do not hold their mistakes against them for life. You Daniela, have to forgive. This is intentional wickedness. Okay, fine. You want to go back to him. But let me remind you that it's not up to a week that you left that man. Amy. Amy, and like like I said. No, don't 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 say nothing anymore. It's not even up to a week. And you're already coming to my house to pack your luggage and go back to him again. Amy. Amy, I know you're looking out for me. You're just trying to protect your friend. And I appreciate this. I appreciate you for it. But trust me, girl, I know what I am doing. Okay? Please. I feel so much pity for you. Looking at you, all I could do is just pour it out. Like, I feel like crying for you. But it's fine. If that's what you want, it's okay. But don't call me when both of you start making troubles again. I will not answer you, Daniela. Babes, nobody's making any trouble. There won't be need for me to call you to come settle any case because none is happening. I love you, babes. I know you're looking out for me. All I need you to do for me is pray for my marriage. Prayers, prayers, happiness. <laughs> ah, this. No, no. Are you going to hang by? Oh, yes, just. You're going to hang it. Take it down. Okay, somebody is really, really angry. You were saying? This file is from Geo Group of Companies. You know what to do with it. I love you, babes. Ella, tell us the truth. Tell us the truth of your life. Why did you change your next of kin from your blood sister to your husband? Tell us. Not like I owe anyone any explanation. But I will answer this question out of respect that I have for two of you as my parents. First of all, Papa, I am a married woman. So I don't understand what the issue is here. Don't I have a right to change my status? I mean, don't I have a right to change my nest of kin from my sister to my husband? After all, the Bible says that two came together to become one. That is what you taught me as a Christian. This is a Christian home. My husband is part of me. So me changing my nest of kin to my husband, how is it wrong? How did I offend anyone? What is this meeting for? It's a lie, yo. It's a lie. Sister, it's not fair. All this that you are saying like this is not fair. It's not fair at all. It's not fair on me, yo. It's not fair on me. I'm your sister, your only sister, your blood sister for that matter. How can you remove my name as, as your nest of kin and just put in the name of a total stranger? For crying out loud. Is your husband your family? No, I'm asking you, is it your blood? Is it your blood? Do you share any blood relation with him? I am your sister. I am your blood. I am the only sister you have in this world. In fact, the only sibling you have in this world. So it's very unfair that you remove my name and swap my name with his own. It's not nice. It's not nice though. Papa, talk to her. Oh. Talk to her. You better go and change my name back. Oh. Go and change my name back there now. Nah. Go and change my name back. I've been with you. Oh. I've been with you from, from, from the beginning of time till now. You cannot do this to me. Really? Are you done? No, Jessica, are you done talking? Papa, did you hear her? No, Mama, did you hear your daughter insult me now? Did you see the way, the, the way she spoke to me? No, it's the level of entitlement for me. Oh. It's your level of entitlement for me. Like, Jessica, what do you want? What have I not done for you as your elder sister? Eh, really? 
Are you not about to go for youth service? Who trained you to that level, Jessica? Who trained you up to that level? And here you are giving me conditions. Telling me what to do and what not to do because I used your name in the first place. That's why you have, you have the F1 tree to open your mouth and tell me how to change my status and how, how not to change my status. Are you insane? Mama, come on, Nafia. Come on, Nafia. Hi! Daniela, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. Oh, Gene! Do you know your problem? You don't take correction. At all. You don't admit your fault. That's just your problem. Mama, so this is all you will see. Now, no, I'm going to go Ha! Yes. That is what she could say, and she has said it all. Because once any person takes the very first step wrongly, subsequent steps will be wrong. At first, I never liked that man at all. You went ahead, you took that wrong step. And you'll be following up that step. Wrongly. Yet you went ahead and married him. Without we knowing. You willed all your belongings to him. I'll tell you this. Any day. That man kills you. I will not accept your cops in this compound. The bees sting the very head that stirred them, that alerted them. Have it in mind. And that is all I have for you. Just continue. Continue fooling yourself. Keep on fooling yourself in the name of marriage. Because this is no love. This is not love. I have made up my mind. I have made this decision and I am not going back on it. Nobody, no Jupiter on this earth will make me change my mind. <laughs> that is it. <laughs> that is what you are so good at. Making up your mind. You make it fire as well. Making up your mind. You are good at it. See, it, 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 will, it will not even work. Oh. Let me just tell you, that one is a big lie. It will not work. What are you saying? Look, listen to yourself. Does it even make sense to you? If you have changed, changed my name with the name of a child, you better. I would, I would understand that, okay, yes, your child is your blood. But how is your husband your relation? No, tell me now, tell me. You better go and change it back. Oh. Go and change it back. Just go and change it back. Because it will not work. You cannot just displace me like that. You cannot replace me, oh. Go and change it back. After you have said all this, you have said them, go, just go and change it back. Just go and change it back. Jessica, can I ask you a question? Eh? No, really. I'm not angry. Sincerely, I need you to answer me. What is your problem? My problem is my name that you remove. My problem is my name. Just remove it. Remove that man's name and put my name back. Finish. You have a problem with me removing your name as next of kin? Yes. That is your problem? Yes. Then Jessica, that begs me to ask you the second question. Are you praying for me to die? How can I be praying for you to no, die? No, I should be asking because mama, yeah, what she's first saying of all, Mama, I do not understand what this meeting is all about. Is is it that you people are, are praying for me to die? What she, what no, 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 because we are talking about next of kin. Is it not when I die that this will come to effect? Mm -hmm. So, you people are actually praying for me to die. <laughs> Emily, for my you family die, is actually nobody, praying for me to die. No, what else do you want me to say? No because I do not understand down. what all this nonsense no is all about. No, 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 no. This is beginning to look like there is something else to it. Are you praying for me to die? Because I don't understand why me changing my nest of king to my husband is a problem. Emily, you're not saying anything. What do you mean?
do you want me to say? What exactly do you want me to say, Danny? Because everything that you exhibited, it clearly shows you're the boss. So if I say something, will it matter? Come on, Emily, cut me some slack. Come on. You know I'm trying for my family. What? You know I try for them. What did you just say? I say I try for them and you know this. Just shut it, Danny. <sighs> shut it. Tell me one thing you've done for your parents other than training your younger one in school. Tell me. Hold on, Emily. I, I, I don't understand. What are you talking about? What I am saying is that whatever it is you've done for your parents should not be measured. Yes. And how could you? How could you even think of using who? Fred as your next of kin. Danny, come on. How can you be this pretty with no brains? Come on, Emily. Don't. What is your problem? Don't you understand? This man is my husband. A husband that punches you at every given opportunity. That was then. The guy has changed. And he said he's not going to do it again. And I believe him. Right now we are cool. We are loving. We're, we're fine. How come, how come you're my friend and I never realized how daft you were? That man, that monster has promised never to hit you seven times. Like seven times. Has it stopped? Okay, I will still be counting. <sighs> Emily, I know you're looking out for me. And I know you care about me. But you have to understand that I am not daft. I am not stupid. I know exactly what I am doing. Your attitude says otherwise. Babes, you know what? If you were married, we would be having this conversation. But it's quite unfortunate you're not. So you will not understand what marriage is all about. You have to keep trying. You don't just quit like that. You keep rubbing it to my face that I am not married. It's I'm not an insult. I'm just trying to make you understand that you're not getting it. And I wish you were on... You, you know what? Let's... foolish. How can you... You are being foolish. You sound daft. Do you sound, you sound <sighs> stupid. Do you know you're the only one who can actually talk to me like this and I let it slide? No one. <laughs> no one there. It's, it's, it's unfortunate. I feel so sad that all of this is happening yet. Your number six is, is, is fluctuating. It's not even fluctuating. You see, your number six is empty. Emily, can you stop? Stop what? Stop insulting me. I am not insulting you. I am telling you the obvious. Babes, you are insulting me. You are. And I know you love me. And babes, I, I really appreciate But you have to stop. I am not stupid. I know what I am doing. Come on. I don't even know what the force is all about. It's clear. It's clear to me that this is not just love. I mean... Come on. Are you sure that man did not hypnotize you? Because you're not, you've lost it. I just stop, please. Come on, I can't believe you're sounding but this way. But it's not funny. It is. What are you talking about? This. I know, I know you. Oh, God. Emily, I appreciate you. I love you. I don't but trust love you at me. This point. Ah, really? Well, you have no choice. Daddy, you listen. have to love me. You have to. <laughs> listen, your parents will never mislead you. Ah. I cannot mislead you. No, seriously, Emily, stop. Please. Fred is my husband. And trust me, everything is fine. Everything is okay. Me, your, your boxer of husband? The one that uses you as a weapon. <laughs> Listen, it's, it's funny, but it's crazy how, how I keep fighting. How all of us keep fighting for a beautiful woman who got no brains. Sad. Just sad. Who killed Danny? The beautiful soul. Daniela, Daniela, 
Speak.